We're live. I think. Appears to be. Do we have sound? We do have sound, right? Greetings from Albania. Damn. Oh, uh, shit's timing out. Sixteen mil in your market. I've seen some pretty shitty situations in my life. Yeah, the Nothing has ever sucked more ass than this. Yeah, let's just get let's just do this real quick. Switch this over to the other side so you can see it. Okay, here's where we were at last night. So this is a pre-recorded. I'm showing you this because I want to keep track of what we're what we're claiming all season long. So we started out at 18, uh, 18 million eight hundred and fifty-five thousand. And the reason we were there is because I, I upgraded some, um, boost last night. I upgraded some boost. And then, Allison, who hadn't been cheaper than twenty-two mil in my market for the longest time, one popped up in the nineteen mil range. So we claimed that parent, jumped us up to twenty point three. There it is. That's the first time I've seen him under 22 in a couple of days. So we bought him at 19.9. 19.9. That's that's where we picked him up. So now we're down to 422,876 coins right now. And what was crazy is is I bought that one at 19 mil. 19.8 and it was it was just under 20 we had enough for him and then i he wasn't the the next one that got posted started what i just paid 19.9 and the next buy it price was like 21 and then for days we haven't found him under 20 mil and now all of a sudden i think another one popped up this morning for 19.1 and I bet you anything, there's there 18.6, 19.8. There you go. See, now they're down again. See, I could have saved a million if I'd have waited till today. But I didn't want to wait. So here's the team. You guys want to see what the team looks like? There's the team. There's a rat. Do you think Team of the Week Mendy was a good investment? Only if you bought him cheap enough for it to be... An elite investment. Been buying 80s for under 65k and trying to sell for 80. What should I try? Well, number one, if you're buying 80s for 65k, that's fantastic. But you should never sell them for 80. You should sell them for 150 to 300. And no, you're not going to turn them around right now. That's not how the market works. You can't farm cards anymore. I don't like Gundu one at all. Uh, he does fine for me. You just gotta understand how to play with him. The one that that's the one that gives me more headaches than any card right now is this eighty-three untrained Joda UCL striker. Oh my god, I hate this card. I like it, and I've played against him trained. I was talking about this earlier today. I've, I've seen him at 88, 89, and 90, and he dominates. But at 83, terrible. His touch on the ball, he's, he's constantly hitting it out um, like two, three yards ahead of him. The keeper leaves his line, he loses it every time. Has the touch of a molester. <laughs> yeah, it's bad. Is anyone else getting really annoyed at Torres? I haven't used Torres. I know people... I like my Mares. That Team of the Week Mares does fine for me. It's his curve. 96 curve. I, finesse finish for him does great for me. Uh, how did I get 20 mil so fast? Uh, I was selling parents. I, I had bought parents for a million, and I was selling them for 1.6. And I had about 10 of them. I think it's just tough timing out. We don't have anything new to claim. Oh, Angulo's herself. Oh, so stupid. 
Such a dumb card. Look. Let's see, where are we at? What did they sell for? Twenty three thousand. Twenty three thousand for that stupid sixty nine. <sighs> yeah, it, it it spikes every once in a while. If you look, there's a few more sales earlier this morning. There's four of them right there. So dumb. Are you going to watch the Liverpool match? Yeah, that's why I was trying to get on as close to 130 as I could. Um, actually, I'm not I'm not going to watch the Liverpool match. I'm going to listen to the Liverpool match. Because as soon as I finish with the stream, I've got to go back next door and try to finish that damn car. Picked up Salah for $2 million. His lowest price now is over 3 They fluctuate like that. Did you get the extra 150 Team of the Week points from EA? I think so. Let's look. Yeah, they're there. I'll claim it. I'll claim all this stuff next week when it starts. As soon as uh, Team of the Week dumps. Angle is the player you talked that stream for making 30 mils a night. We cracked the code. Yeah, yeah. It's not Angulo. How much should I pay for premium team of the week Conte? The cheapest you can. Have you done the suspension yet? I, well, let's put it this way. Right now, here, let's say this is the front end of the car. This is level. And it is, right now it looks like this. Because the driver's side is done. That's it. Driver's side's done. So the car's sitting all completely jacked up. Looks, looks, it looks good on one side, but not so much on the other side. It's, uh, it's a bitch. God. Sala we Gamer were... HGN is now yeah, following. It's not done. And then we fit last night around eight something. I don't know, eight thirty. We got one side completely done, front and rear done, and thought, okay, we're gonna let it settle overnight just to see how low it's gotten, where where it's at. You guys want me to search messy? You just wanna see which one I'm in? So we'll flip it. So you can see him. There you go. That's my messy. My penis is tingling right now. And we let it sit overnight to see how, how far it settled because my fear is I'm not going to be able to get it out of the garage. Now I got to try to pull that thing down and down the driveway and then walk it back and forth without taking it off the curb and bring it right back up. Uh, will you buy Messi? No. No, I won't buy Messi. Won't buy Messi. Just went all in on 83s. I have a ton of elites, but I haven't really been investing here in the last couple of days. When, when did we decide to put... We started saving for Allison. Was it Friday? Friday? Yeah, and then we claimed 5 mil on Friday over... Two nights, and then was like, we're going to get the rest of it here. Took a couple of days. A couple of days for 20 mil. It's a good week, but it was mostly just because of all of the, the parents going up from a mil to 1.6. Okay. So we're starting at 422,000. I don't even, I'm not going to run like a poll or anything because I don't even know where it's at. We're going to go ahead and claim everything. It's all 60s. I didn't have any anything huge. Honestly, I don't even I, I don't even think I'll hit a mill. This is just since since buying Allison. Uh 
All right, so two Angola sold, and we started at what would say four four hundred forty four thousand. There, we're over a million. That was good. Just shy of six hundred thousand after claiming Perrin. So since yesterday's stream, just about two point two mil between Perrin and that. Do you think Dembele and Zapata will increase in value after UCL is over? No. No, I don't. If they do increase in value, it won't be much. I think everyone's going to have them. There's not going to be any use for them going in. It'll probably go down a little bit. What do you say to people when they say LFC or shit? Um, normally, I just find it entertaining. It cracks me up. A club named Arsenal just passed away. <sighs> well, to see an Allison review, I kind of got to play him in head-to-head, -head, and I don't know when I'll play head-to-head. -head. I've got everything done for today. Verses are finished. I still need to do my head-to-head -head stuff, but we won't use him there. Still got weekend to finish up. We still have a day for that, though. And if we claim the tickets today, that'll give us five tickets. I need five wins in a row to finish the week out. I don't even know if I can do that or not. I don't know if I can finish it. And I'm not buying the pass. There's nothing in there worth buying. We go for Owen Prime Icon. No. No, I... I, I don't know. And no, I don't play fantasy Premier League. I quit when they I quit when the pandemic hit. Just it, to me, it's not the Premier League right now. It's not. It's not exciting enough to do anything with. Here's where I'm at. I, I went ahead. I claimed, jumped ahead instead of claiming Dembele, because I, I want to get to at least the rare and maybe the player tokens, instead of claiming both. And I don't know if I'm gonna grab Zapata or Dembele. I don't know which one I'm going to get. I haven't made a decision. Just haven't decided yet. Spurs had two counters in the game and just rode the dick of Kane and Son. My base OVR is 120 and max chem is plus 16. Still total chem is 129 instead of 136. It's because you don't have the chemistry necessary to hit 136. How do you have a base chem of 120? When am I going to get Allison? I already have Allison. Allison is in right now. Is it worth spending gems to get Dembele because I'm 100 short? Uh, depends. Fernando Torres. Where does he sit with you as a Liverpool forward top five? El Nino. Fernando Torres. I like Torres when he was at Liverpool. More so than at Chelsea. Um, but Torres came in. All right. Peacock just kicked in the game. Let me turn the audio down here. They've got Sun in an interview, and you've got Moreno coming over and cursing in his ear. I liked Fernando Torres. He didn't, it wasn't that I didn't like him, but Torres came in after the epic oh, Suarez yeah. um, Sturridge. 
couple of seasons, and it was just kind of a huge letdown. So I don't know. Do you watch basketball? And if so, what is your favorite team? Nope. I hate basketball. Don't consider it a sport. Hate it, hate it, hate it, hate it. Which is more important, OVR or Chem? They're, uh, I would say OVR, straight OVR is more important than chemistry because it it means your stats are higher and it works for both head-to-head -head and versus. But if you're playing versus, then chemistry is almost as important as OVR. We had 80 plus viewers. Yeah, we'll give it a sub. I said we'd do it. We'll do it. God. Finally, he sleeps gifted Mark L. Kink a subscription. Finally, he sleeps gifted a tier one sub to Mark L. Kink. We got a poll coming. Hold on. We'll run the poll. Best goalkeeper in the game currently. What was parent harvest? Okay, there's the poll. It's running. Who's the best goalkeeper in there right now? Which it is. Bye. Is it worth doing gold team of the week SBCs for less than 80 key. I think it is just if you want to be able to claim an elite each week, each every, no, what do you get? You get three every five weeks. I think is what it works out to. Can you see on your screens how many viewers or subs, non subs? If so, what's the percentage? I, I can't see. I'm sure there's a way you can figure it out, but I have no idea. Adrian, you want Adrian in the poll? Yeah, I would say no on the Adrian in the poll. I'm just curious what you guys are putting in here. Allison's getting the major. I, I liked Perrin. He did really well for me before I dumped him to put Allison in. Do you have any opinions on handball? <laughs> no. <laughs> How do you write so fast? Why don't you consider basketball a sport? Okay, this is a this is an argument I have had many, many, many times over the years. And it usually pisses quite a few people off. And I'll explain it real fast. Let's see how many people we upset in the process. Um, basketball is not a sport. Baseball is not a sport. And I'm going to tell you why. Okay. Baseball, we'll do that one first. Any time athletes are allowed to take the field in sunglasses, jewelry, necklaces, and their uniform has a fucking belt, that's not an athlete. That's a sport. That is the most boring shit on the planet. Baseball is the dumbest ass stuff. Not a sport. I don't care if it's two teams or not. It's not a sport. Why is is golf a sport? No, golf's a game. I love golf. Golf's a game. Okay, now basketball. The reason basketball is a joke, in my opinion, is it is the only. It is the only. The only athletic event in the world where. There is an advantage given to physical attributes that are born into people. Now, I want you to stop and think about that and explain this. Uh, I'm going to explain this to you. Because the rim is set at a specific height, it, 
it, and it's within a range of a specific body type, it becomes it becomes an issue. That's it's it's not in soccer is definitely not the same. Now, if the goal in soccer was off the ground, ten feet in the air, and you could use your hand to put the ball in, then that would be different. It's it, it's just not. It's dumb. I, it, it's probably still a sport. It's just a stupid fucking sport. <laughs> I don't get it. I don't understand. I've never understood how anybody could look at basketball and go, this is this is entertaining. As the dumbest shit I've... It's, I think I could watch baseball over basketball. Barely. Barely. Now there's... Okay, now look. You say being a taller goalkeeper is an advantage. It's like... Being a bigger defensive lineman is an advantage. True. But you you can't train physical attributes. You cannot do it. You cannot take tell someone and go, hey, go do these squats, do this workout seven days a week, and you'll go from six foot to six foot four. Doesn't work that way. Doesn't work that way. What cracks me up about American sports is they always consider their winners as world champs. Yeah, no, that's, I'll agree with that one. Yeah. Ugh, basketball. Fucking hate basketball. Stupid ass. Now, if they took the rim and they lowered it to about five feet high, that'd be fine. I would I would be all in. And if they took the rim and they low, and they raised it to 15 feet, I would be all in. It's just they've got it right there at 10 feet. It's just like, it's like a giant fuck you to anybody who's shorter than 5 foot 10. How many different base 69 cards are there? I think, what are there, like six, 700? Something like that, six or 700? Basketball there, babies. <sighs> just don't like it. It's, I'm, I'm pretty much my sports are boxing, rugby, and and soccer, football, American, not American football, like real football. What do you sell sixty nines for? Five thousand to ten thousand, right in that range. Can you show what players you have invested on right now? No. I don't I don't invest in players. I invest in OVRs. Don't I generally don't even invest in leagues. This season I don't even think leagues are going to be important. See, I used to like hockey. I used to like I, lo I loved the Calgary Flames when I was a kid. But it's it it's really hard to find around here. Like it, they don't even play it on TV. I could have 105 OVR if you had everyone in position. No. I don't have... I only have one center back. I have no right back. You can't adjust this formation to get 105. It doesn't work that way. I need, I need a... Uh, I definitely need a center back. And I need a left back and I need a center mid. That, that little triangle there in the bottom left corner needs swapped out. Fish Max, show Kim, underscore Kim MRDAS is now following. Yeah, that McGinn over there on the right, that's going to become seasons. Trent Alexander-Arnold eventually. But I have to finish this out. And I, I really... Re where are we at? We're on December 6th. I think I'm, I think I'm pretty much screwing myself on seasons. The plan, my plan for seasons is to buy every league and five star all of these things through division four. Then start using duplicate leagues to get as far as I can to unlock legends. And then when I unlock legends, I'll take whatever I've got, whatever trained league I have there and put it directly into my main squad. That is when I will train players. Because right now this is a full rental. 
And I'm hoping that by the time that happens, we have at least somebody decent, Premier League-wise, for center mid, left back, and a center back. And then once I'm done, McGinn will come out and we'll throw in um, TAA on that side. Alexander Arnold. What team did you use for K-League? I don't know. Whatever shitty team we could put together. We built it on stream. We built the K-League on stream. Here's the Bundesliga 2 squad that we've got right there. That's where it's at. And I've got some training going on now. And I'll continue to train these just a little bit more and start adding. And then I think by the time I get to Division 5, they might all be trained. I might no longer be running a rental squad. Like right now, I've got multiple players. One, two, four. I've trained eight of the 11 and I think I'll move on to 11 of the 11 here pretty soon. UCL Romero? Is he a player box player? I think I sold him. I may have him. No, I think I've sold him already. Syria, he would line up and 73 pace, 90 defending. Was he one of the, is he a player box player? Is that what he is? Reset, we're resetting. Autoplay in head-to-head -head should be heavily nerfed or completely eliminated. It's just annoying to be playing CPUs better than people. Um, I hope they don't because I really like not having to play my head-to-head -head matches. Wait, what are what do we get today? Twenty thousand coins, yay! What a game changer. Would you consider using Ferdinand from UCL? You can grab with 2,000 points spent. I don't know. I He's the icon. I just don't... I don't do... I, I don't like the icons. It takes a lot for me to throw icons in. Yeah, I don't know. And there's something about... There's something about Ferdinand. Okay, now this is this is going way deep. There is a very, very old episode. It's black and white. Like when Rod Sterling was the uh, host of The Twilight Zone. There's a very famous episode where this woman wakes up in a hospital. And she's... Her face is all wrapped up and she can't see anything. And she's looking around. The doctors, they keep talking to her about how... It, you know, it's fine. You were in an accident, blah, blah, blah. And they're talking about and they And at the very end of the episode, they take off her mask and they show her in the mirror to see how hideous she is. And she's like a gorgeous blonde. And she starts screaming. And then they turn around and everyone else in the room's face looks like mildly distorted and kind of half retarded. And um, they're all like, oh, she's so ugly. And she's screaming because she's so hideous. And everybody else in the room... The look that they have is pretty hideous. And all of those people, they look exactly like Ferdinand. All of the creepy people in that episode of The Twilight Zone look like Ferdinand. Here. Um, Albion underscore Jashari Eye is Eye of now the following. Beholder was the episode... And they all remind me of Ferdinand. Viper Simo raided with 21 viewers. It's bad. They all kind of reminded me of Ferdinand. Dark7J is now following. Thanks for the follow, guys. 
Here, we'll, we'll do this just because I'm that much of an asshole. Lucas Uppy is now following. Uh, I'm such a dick. This is horrible. Pomerico 1007 is now following. That's the episode of The Twilight Zone, and I swear to God, that card art for Ferdinand, that's always what it reminds me of. <laughs> Ferdinand reminds me of the of that episode. Ah. What an asshole. It's funny. It's bad. Not a not a Ferdinand fan, I guess you could say. Definitely not a Ferdinand fan. Twilight Zone. Twilight Zone's good. Yeah, thanks for the raid. I don't know who raided. Yeah, that's wrong. Yeah, thanks for the raid. Was it Viper Simo? Viper Simo? Thanks for the raid. Going to hell. They, actually, I, I'm pretty sure there's a seat reserved for me right next to the uh, heater. Yeah, right next to the heater. It's got my name on it. I, I've known that for a long time. This doesn't make any... This is a little shit. Make it fun of Ferdinand's Roger face. Roger 7 is now following. Yeah, that ain't gonna make a difference. What's the what's the requirements today for versus? What do we got? Want a match with a rivals player in your lineup? Five goals with rivals players. Ten assists. Not that bad. Is it me or is FIFA is so boring? It console's boring Not to like me you. right now. We're growing up, motherfucker. Best EPO goalkeeper other than Allison. I liked the team of the week, Leno. Let's see what what Matt, what do we have today? Game's getting ready to start here soon. What are we dealing with? What is it? What is it? Defending onslaught. Is that the really really easy one? All of a sudden, more of those Angulas sold. Oh my god! Let's see where they're at now. What what do we sell those for? They're still selling. So dumb. Thirty thousand now. They're going back up. Uh, let's be honest, we're all going to go to hell at some point. Yeah. Uh, some of us just quicker than others. How many minutes it takes for the bot to put new players in the market when we're refreshing? I don't know. Depends on your connection rate. Should I buy Zapata now or wait? You think he will come down more? Probably a little bit more as we get closer to the uh, end of the event. I'm boring, so you won't reply to me? I, I don't know what, uh, what was I supposed to reply to? Oh, fuck. That pissed me off. Onslaught is easy. They've been easier after we see them one time and we know what they're doing. There, There's really not much to it. I, see, I don't, I don't mind these skill games. They don't they don't bother me at all. Yeah, now that you understand how to do these things, there's not much to them. I think the the most the toughest part of the first day we had these was that they they had us using a left wing. It was a left wing is what we started out with. What is card flipping and does it really work? 
Card flipping is a fancy way of saying bot manipulation. I underscore grope underscore FHS is now following. 100% uh, terms of service violation. Be wary of any idiot out there trying to promote card flipping. There we go. This skill game, this one's easy. I, the coin runner is probably my favorite. I like the coin runner. Do we think Freeze will be a big promo? I, I'm excited. Freeze has been a huge deal every season so far. Should I sell them belly? He's averaging two mil in my current market. I don't think I'm gonna sell them belly. I think I'll claim him and hold on to him. Why won't I buy the coin packs? These is this what you're talking about? The coin offer? Um, I will eventually. I just I'm lazy, and uh, just see waiting to see what's gonna happen. I've kind of held on to them just in case I need them for a. Um, a skill game that is easier or something that's tough, but I just haven't gotten into it. Why is player flipping against the rules? Um, what it is, is somebody out there, somebody created a video and they relabeled bot manipulation as they called it player flipping. It's it's not player flipping. It's bot manipulation. Uh, which is buying cards to trigger the bot to buy more. So you create a you create your own gap in the queue and you you trigger bot sales so that you raise the value of the card to get the bot to buy more. The problem is, is it generates spikes. Someone else can jump on and you always end up with more players that you can't sell because you have to buy the card at a higher value each time to get the bot to buy at a higher value. And you end up with a whole bunch of stuff that you can't sell. And if you don't get rid of it right away or at the right time, you end up putting more money into it. So anybody that's promoting it either doesn't understand how the market really works. They don't understand what the terms of service are for the game. Or they're just looking for a quick opportunity for a video to get a bunch of video to get a bunch of views. And I, the only thing I have to say to that is fuck you, fuck your videos and fuck your inability to understand what the market is. Seriously. So it's so fucked up. And I hate when people come in here and ask about flipping. Is it's now, there's lots of ways to make money in the game. There's lots of ways. Fishing is one of the ways. It's what I do. Is it the best way? Probably not. I mean, there's other ways to make coins in the game. Um, but this whole player flipping bot manipulation, it doesn't do anything, but it, it damages the market. It lowers the game. It's just... It's just a really shitty thing to promote. Can't stand it. They are making bot trigger more spikes, so it's good for us. Sometimes. Sometimes. So, I mean, if you can find where they're doing it. You see how we see have Angulo going up in value? More than likely, what that was is somebody today started buying them in this market for a really stupid value trying to push their value up and anybody who had them in the market already see look 101,000 somebody is 
somebody is pushing this card. See how these are being bought for this value? This is someone manipulating the market to get the bot to buy theirs at a really high value. That's what that is. Doesn't fishing rely on flipping? No, fishing relies on the queue. Flip, fishing relies on the drop rate of cards that don't come in, that, that don't show up in the market when there's a gap in the card. So the, the market works in a way, is this manipulation illegal? A hundred percent. Straightforward. It is man, it is taking advantage of the the manipulation. Is it just is it just in my market? Uh, yeah, it's just this market. Now the the three markets do connect, so it means that Angulo has probably gone up a little bit in the other two. But the value that we're seeing right here, this stuff, this is just someone buying. This isn't the bot buying. Okay, so the car. Okay, let, let me. Let me really, what we're seeing right here, this is not the bot buying these cards. This is other people buying the cards. This is someone else buying the cards. The bot is not buying for this price. I don't have any more Angulas. I think I have a couple C. See, look, mine are in right now at 40,000 because that was the, that was undercutting the suggested price when the spike started a little bit ago. Mine are not selling. They are not selling at 40,000. But yet you see some idiot out here buying them at 96,000, 120,000. That's that's where they're at. But my 40,000 and 50,000 cards are not selling because there's a disconnect between the buying bot and the selling bot. So that is an, a perfect example of how it doesn't actually line up. So what somebody is doing is they bought all the angulos in the market then they started listing their own Angulos and buying the new ones as they come in. The new ones that are coming in, every time you buy a card in the market, the bot relists another card where whatever you paid for him, the new card that comes in, his starting price is what you bought him at. So let's, let's say Messi. Isn't there a Messi in the market? Where's he at? What is his? Okay, so if I bought that Messi right now for 18.859 mil, if I bought that Messi, a new Messi within five minutes would get listed back into the market with a new starting price of 18.859060 and a buy it now of whatever it is. Was it about, I don't know. 2% higher. It would probably come in at 18859060 starting price 19499 as his new buy it now. That's how it works. So the bot relists what you buy. So every time you buy a card from the bot, the bot the bot puts a new one in. That's not really creating a spike. It's not creating a gap in the queue, which is what a spike is. It's generating your own spike you're triggering the bot to buy another one because the bot always has to have one in the queue, one being bought, one on the queue, one being bought, one on the queue. So you're triggering the bot to buy more, but to do it, you have to, you have to continue to buy a higher rated card and then post a higher rated card. So it's really, I mean, it's <laughs> mathematically, you're, you're making more money every time you go, but you have more invested because you have to buy a higher rated card every time too. It, it, it blows me away that people don't, I mean, it, it, we're talking like fifth grade math here that it still blows, that still people don't understand. They pretty much created an Angulo monopoly. No, they did not. That's where you don't understand. They, they're just triggering the bot to buy more. Like if, if someone says, I'm going to buy all of the cards in the market, that's not how the market works. You don't sell to the bot that lists. Again, it doesn't work that way. Like if, if it did work that way, if that's the way the, bar, the bot worked, 
if we looked at these strikers in the market, the cheapest bo cheapest card in the market right now is 187,000, right? And you can see that the bot is buying. Then why are my Angulos at 40 and 51,000 have been sitting there for four hours? This is what people don't understand. People people miss out on that disconnect between the buying bot and the selling bot. And until you understand that, the whole concept of player flipping just makes you feel like, okay, I bought a card, now the buy, bot buys a card. I'm making so much money, I'm making so much money. Guess what? You're going to be stuck with a shit ton of cards you can't sell. Will you invest in Zuma if you will? How much you give it most? Um, nothing more than an 86 card rated card would be. It's funny like a Ricardo pyramid scheme. Pro 08 is now following. Flipping. If you if you're returning to what I'm talking about, flipping, it is a hundred percent a pyramid scheme. A hundred percent. That is ex that is the only way to look at. It. The only person making money is the first guy. And then he's still going to get stuck when it crashes. Because when it does crash, it crashes hard. Like, if we're seeing Angulos up that high right now, if what we're the seeing them up happened? here, that means that once this thing bottoms out, when you go to buy Angulos tomorrow, they're going to be worth about 400 coins. This is the same situation when someone kept buying this 71 or 100 coin and I listed 80k suggested men sold. Yes. <laughs> Did I get partner with the amazing application? No, not yet. Uh, sp it seems that spikes are created flipping bot manipulation. So when you fish and sell your cards on the spike in the wave, you technically also violate. No! Oh my god! Again, I don't understand how you, how this. It's not a tough concept to to. It's it's not tough to understand. This, when should I sell Griezmann? I think right in the beginning. You can use it to transfer coins from one account to another. No, you can't. That's not how it works. Is my real name? Yeah, my real name is Travis. How are people buying in Google? I thought only bots can buy. Okay, so. What you see in the market. Like, if, if we're looking at these Angulos right now, anybody else who's in my market sees the exact same Angulos. Those Angulos are not being listed by people. They are being listed by the bot. So if we buy the same card, if I bought one of these Angulos and they bought one of the Angulos, we're not buying them off of another player. There is no coin transfer. We are only buying cards directly from the bot. So... If I list a card into the market, like as you can see, we've got Angulos listed. You can't see my Angulos in the market because my selling, I'm selling directly to the bot. So you cannot transfer coins from one, one account to another account because you never sell a card to another player. You sell the, the your card to the bot. You have a private transaction with the bot. And then the bot duplicates that card, and then the bot sells the card to somebody else. But you never move that money. You can never move coins from one to the other. It's not how it works. So spikes in cards are not a result of flipping cards. Spikes in cards can be a result of flipping cards, which we saw in Angulo. But no, they are not. Not all spikes are a result of card flipping. Spikes are a result of a break in the, the queue. So that's why silvers are the most effective for fishing. If you look at it this way, every card in the market, so we pick like this Angulo, we'll just stick with the Angulo. The Angulo card has a drop rate and the drop rate comes in for this game in the 10 hour packs that include free card like you get a free silver player every 10 hours so there are, let's say there are 600 uh maybe six thousand silvers i'm just guessing like six thousand silvers in the game 
every 10 hours, X amount of players will claim a silver and put that silver into the to the market. They sell that silver, or they whatever it is, and the bot says, okay, a new card came in, we put another card out, that's how it goes. <clears throat> then you have the bot says, okay, there are 25 Angulos getting posted on average per day in the system because that's what the drop rate is on that silver. I, as the bot, will buy 25 Angulos a day. I will buy an Angulo every 80 minutes. Then the bot has a queue. The bot says, okay, I'm going to go out and I want to start putting Angulos in my queue. So I need to have three Angulos in my queue for the next four hours. So the next Angulo gets put into the queue. If there is a gap where there's no drop rate on Angulos and nobody posts them into the market, the bot doesn't see them, there's none out in there, where the bot says, I would normally buy this 69 rated card for 800 coins, and there's no 800 coin card in there, there is a gap, but I need to fill my queue, I'll now pay 1,500 coins for that card because that's the next lowest in the, in the market. But once they pull that one in, and let's say there's another one, and we're like, holy shit, there's, there's none out here. So the bot says, I'll buy another one. And now I'm going up from 1,500 to 2,500. But the bot has to fill that queue. It doesn't have a choice. It's an algorithm. It must be followed. So it starts to go out for higher rated cards. In fishing, if you have those cards in the market already on a higher value and the bot starts to buy to fill the queue to make up for the gap, you will catch it because you have a higher rated card in there on a 24-hour cycle waiting for that gap when the queue must be filled. That's what fishing is. Now, if you're out there creating the gap because you're buying all the cards, that's what EA terms as being a terms of service violation because you are manipulating the, the bot. Fishing is just riding the wave. That's the difference. Most of these are high school teens who are still using calculator for finding answers for Templos 20. Should I get the 200 player tokens or get Dembele? Do you think Joda is better than Firmino? Are we talking in game or in real life? Because I have, a, I have a pretty strong opinion. Um, I have a pretty strong opinion on Firmino. I like Firmino, but I think he's in the wrong position. I don't think uh, Firmino's a striker. I don't. He's a false nine. He's a center attacking mid who presses forward. And I think if they ever put him in a position where he had a Firmino did his best when he had Sturridge on the field with him. And if they dropped him back into a position, if they ran a formation with two strikers and one played like a false nine, like a center attack, like attacking center forward with a striker ahead of him, I think he would be phenomenal. Should go back to Cam. Yeah. That's where I would put him. 64s are moving? I've got a ton of 64s. I don't have... That I haven't even looked to see as suggested right now. Which sucks, because these were the things that we did that whole market challenge for before, and I couldn't find... I didn't see any good prices coming out of them. This is another OVR that I'm trying to dump. That I don't want to mess with anymore. 3500 What were we paying? We were paying 1000 to 1500 and I'm still just trying to get rid of these things. Angulo scored two goals today in ISL, so his price inflated. <sighs> That's not why his price went up. <laughs> Pros D27 is now following. All right, we're 12 minutes into the game. 13 minutes into the game. And I want to at least listen to this game while we're trying to finish the car. 
Do we have a raid? Somebody, somebody guided the raid. Is Ruben even on? Ruben is not on. No, so we'll, Minak guided the raid, but we're going to kick it back because he's not on. Let's see. We're going to... This is, this is going to be a weird one today. We're going to raid Captain Ash Bacon. Just because. I never, I never get to raid her. We're going to raid Captain Ash Bacon. And the only reason we're raiding, we're raiding her is, God damn, it's that Australian accent. If she's on, I have to watch her. It's just the, the Australian accent. Ruben's not live. Ruben's offline. Captain Ash Bacon, she usually plays, um, let's see, like Sea of Thieves or something. I don't know what she was playing now. I was watching her earlier. She was playing uh, Arena. She's entertaining. Yeah, it's very passionate. I get in. It's the, the market, man. The market kills me. Who is that voice who says gifted a sub? I don't know. It's just a, some text-to-speech voice. Ruben's on now. Let's see. Oh, he is on now. All right, we'll raid Ruben. Okay, I'll be back on Tuesday. We will not be on... Tomorrow we'll be back on Tuesday. And then um, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then back on Friday. And maybe, maybe I might get on in the evening at some point during that. But I think, you know what? I think I'm going to actually jump on a, uh, we'll do another episode of the podcast this week. Something different. All right, we'll see everybody on Tuesday. Get ready. Here comes Ruben. Ruben.